solve the radical equation the square root of x plus 2 equals 3 in three different ways. In part A, solve algebraically and check for extraneous roots. Rewrite the equation. Square both sides of the equation to get rid of the radical. This gives us x plus 2 equals 9. Subtract 2 from each side of the equation to get x equals 7. We need to verify that x equals 7 is actually a solution of the equation and not an extraneous root. We can do this by plugging x equals 7 into the original equation and checking if the left side and right side are equal. Plug 7 into the original equation. Add the numbers within the radical to get the square root of 9 equals 3. This gives us 3 equals 3. Since the left side and right side are equivalent, 7 is an actual root of the equation. In part b, we'll solve by finding the point of intersection of a system of equations. We can solve this equation by finding the point of intersection for the graphs y1 equals the square root of x plus 2 and y2 equals 3. Draw the graph of each function. The point of intersection is 7, 3. The solution to the equation is x equals 7. This is the same answer we obtained in part A. In part c, we'll solve by finding the x-intercepts of a single function. We need to make this equation equal 0, bring all of the terms to one side. This gives us the square root of x plus 2 minus 3 equals 0. If we graph the function y equals the square root of x plus 2 minus 3, the x-intercepts of the graph will be roots of the equation. Draw the graph of y equals the square root of x plus 2 minus 3. The x-intercept is the point 7, 0. The solution to the equation is x equals 7. This is the same answer we obtained in parts a and b.